Hey guys, I just wanted to do a little screen recording of the programming app that we're going to use and pretty much how to perform a movement assessment. So when you're doing the movement assessment, this is going to give you a good idea of how you're really going to interact with it on a daily basis, how to view your workouts, how to enter in your exercises, how to give us feedback and such on each exercise and complete your workouts in general. Okay, so everything that we give to you um, via programming and stuff like that is going to be through this app called True Coach. You can see at the top left hand corner. So I'm going to click into it. See the app itself is going to open up. You'll see it'll have your workout, for example, for today, um, usually listed straight away. You can view past workouts, upcoming workouts. If there was one, I'd be able to scroll down and see it pretty much, okay? But you can see this movement assessment here. I can click into it and I can see my list of exercises that I would potentially be doing. Just a name for each one. If I want to just view the workout without actually like beginning it, for example, it just obviously gives me that option before I hit begin up in the top right hand corner. I can just have a quick scroll through. So if I'm in work early on in the day and I just want to see what I'm doing in the gym later on today, I can just have a quick scroll and, and see what I'm kind of in for. All right. Um, you can see up here the warm up. Obviously, this will be a warm up when it's a, a normal program for the warm up here. We just have kind of a, a description of uh, what to expect from the from the movement assessment just some general guidelines we want you to set aside 30 to 45 minutes or so to kind of do it if you're doing it with someone or you have someone recording it's probably going to make it a lot easier a lot quicker and um, if you have to set a camera aside you have to obviously find better angles and stuff for what we're actually trying to assess whether it's lower body upper body and so on and um, keep a notepad to hand or at least enter in on the phone i'll show you in a second how you'll end up doing that but if you need to keep a notepad to hand to the side that you just want to kind of get them all done in one go you can just take some general notes and comments on the movements themselves and how they felt. So that's really important when it comes to the movement assessment and those actual those movements themselves that we get a good idea of how you're actually feeling when you're performing them as well. OK, and um, for males, we prefer you to do this in shorts with no top on, no socks or anything like that. We want to see as much as possible. We want to see how things move like upper body and lower body wise for females similar as well, barefoot with shorts and a sports bra or a tank top on, just something this, so we can potentially see shoulder blades moving and stuff like that for the upper body, okay? So you can see from there, first one I'm gonna click into, it has a brief few notes on it as it named, just a few basic things. If I go to begin the workout, you'll see it'll bring up everything here, it'll bring the warm up for me, I can scroll across, and then from here I have each individual exercise or assessment for, for the movement assessment. So I can see a full little thing of notes. Um, if I click into the video itself, it'll press. It'll it'll all play through the this app itself, so it won't. Um, it won't come out of the the app for you, which is really good to have it there when you're working out in the gym. Um, the videos we have, we have linked to our YouTube channel. Just basically a summary or a description, a demonstration of what we'd like you to kind of send back to us. So what would be like the ideal? Um, we'll we'll give you. A, probably best to kind of watch those rather than if if you're getting really bogged down with the notes that we have and it's not making sense the video demonstration should probably be uh, be the thing to look at okay um i can let that play through like from here as i said i can side. pause it and, and uh, mute the audio if i want to on it um but when it comes to actually entering in what my results are you can see from here down the bottom is what i want to click into so you can see that little camera icon if i click into that you're going to see myself, you can see me from here. So I can click a photo if I need to, I can set it into video and I can take a little recording of myself and this will be what I'm going to set down for my assessment. So if I use this video, you can see from here it's entered it in, it's going to upload it, it should be nice and quick. Um, I can then enter like a description from here. So this is as I was saying, I want to, I, we want to get some feedback from you, like some comments on how it felt or anything that you can say on it in general. So for example, for myself, let's say for example, I just did my front side and back profile. I'm going to say, um, you know, felt like my left shoulder was uh, pushed forward. I feel like I have a hunched back. Um, or my back feels sore when I stand up for too long, something like that, something along those lines, any sort of general comments. Now, go into as much detail as you need to on this. The more details, the better for us, the better we can kind of prescribe exercise and see what the how your body moves and, and things that we might um, need to know in terms of limitations in the future. You've already sent us across your 
um, questionnaire which has obviously lots of details and everything as well but we might find something out with these assessments as well okay so from here i can say whether or not i missed an exercise this is just in the future like let's say for example during a program you have to run um, or you need to skip something you, we maybe told you to reduce something if you're feeling a bit of pain or something like that you can click missed or obviously if it's done you can click completed okay now how to get out of the actual thing from here you can see there's no necessary button to actually get out of the keypad what i'm going to do is grab the screen up top and scroll down and then that should get rid of it for me okay what's well, something that i had to kind of figure out myself when i was doing it so at least you'll know how to do it yourselves now when you're using it so if i continue on like let's say for example that's my first exercise done i can scroll across to the right again once again i can see my little video demonstration we've got our notes on how we want it to be performed ideally I can enter in my notes, I can enter in my video, and I can just continue on in that same process as I would. Now, when you're doing the program itself um, on your own, we'll obviously have lots of descriptions of what we want done. Like, if you're doing an exercise at the start, uh, we'll give you notes on kind of like, okay, first set to be at this weight or this perceived effort or whatever it is. Um, usually a video attached for most of them. Um, and obviously you can see from that, similar to this movement assessment process, notes and videos and stuff like that attached would be, would be excellent because we can assess your movement because we're not seeing you, obviously you're, we're, we're not seeing you in person. That's, that's really the key thing that we need to see is how you were performing the exercises, comments on how it felt, and then we can get back to you within the app of um, some comments that we wanna make or, or instructions for further workouts and such, okay? So if I continue that on for each exercise, you'll see they're all listed. They all have the video, should be easy enough process for you to kind of go through. It just might seem a bit time consuming, but it really is a, a thorough, thorough assessment. Like we really want to see as much as possible so that when we go to prescribe an exercise where we have a good idea of how you're really performing it and, and what areas we can kind of work on. So I know I've only done one of 10 there, but let's say, for example, I've gone through all 10. I can just hit complete workout and then I'll save the workout itself there and I'll see all my notes and stuff like that kind of attached to it. Um, and everything. 